What's happening, everyone? Will Claus, your favorite Mast Hope real estate agent with your favorite Mast Hope segment on YouTube, tore a house in five minutes or less. Today, I'm going to start by taking you around the outside. I am at 154 Tanninger Drive in uh, Mast Hope Mountain Community, which if you don't know, you better look it up because it's got access to skiing, a ski big bear, two pools. One of them is brand new, just opened in uh, July of 2021. Uh, lake, motorboat friendly, West Golang Lake. It has a beach area. It has horseback riding. There's playgrounds. There's a fitness center. It even has access to the Delaware River, um, just a about a mile or so away from the main entrance. So here we are at 154 Tanager, brand new to the market. Click the link in the description for more information. But I'm just kind of taking you around. That's I'm about 6'2", and I could stand underneath that deck. So plenty of good under the deck storage. But if you needed, you also have this shed. It's a pretty big shed. I'm not sure if the camera's picking it up, but it goes back. You can fit ATVs in there. Plenty of ATVs, kayaks, uh, canoes, bikes, whatever you feel like riding around out here. Mast Hope is a ATV-friendly community. So uh, you have uh, trails. You can ride them around in here. You back up to Green Belt. Let me show you that. I'll show you the deck. And then we'll run inside. This deck, um, it looks like it's peeling in a couple areas, but it's uh, it's really a solid deck. I think that it maybe was just a, a paint that didn't take or a stain that didn't take well. But I think a quick power wash and a good stain. Uh, that's your green belt back there. Really quiet, peaceful. I believe it's green belt. If not, I don't know if you can see. Let's go all the way back. Into there, there's some uh, condo or some houses down there on Twin Rivers, but uh, they're set far enough away that pretty much what you see is what you get here. There may be one little uh, lot in between this house and the next one there, but uh, I could find out more about that if you were interested in knowing if that's uh, if that lot is um, owned by the neighbor or not. This house, you walk in, there is a main floor bedroom, pretty good size. It's got the split system, AC and heat unit, baseboard electric otherwise. And then right across the hallway, that's where we came in, that's the deck there. Right across the hallway is a full bath with a fiberglass tub shower combo. Um, really cool ceilings too, the exposed beam work, exposed floorboards from above. I mean, it just gives it a nice rustic feel. This is a four bedroom, two bath house. Uh, one of the bedrooms is on the main level here, three of them are on the lower level, um, and a bathroom on the main level and lower level, plus a huge loft, which we'll get to in just a bit. Um, kitchen, it does have a dishwasher, it's got an electric oven slash range, it's got a stainless steel refrigerator, little dining area here that goes out to the side deck so you can eat inside or out depending on how the weather is. And what time of year you're up here this is a full season or a full year four season community so i'm assuming if you're buying this you're going to be spending a lot of time here whether it's winter spring summer or fall because of the ski seat because of the ski slope and the the pools and all the other amenities um, wood burning fireplace in there brick faced floor to ceiling chimney and uh, then this is a propane heater as well so you can supplement the uh, electric baseboard with some propane or also use these Panasonic split units which are awesome too. So um, moving up the stairs we have the huge loft. This does come fully furnished aside from a few personal items if you're interested in what is being removed from the house let me know and I can talk that over with you as well. Uh, pool table up here Big open room for it. A lot of times people put a pool table in a room that's way too small and your stick is hitting up against the wall. So you have to use the, the little tiny stick. And this one has plenty of room though to be able to move around it. So we've seen the main floor with one bedroom, one loft, an open living space. Uh, or I'm sorry, one bedroom, one bathroom. The loft is upstairs wide open and the main living area with the kitchen, living, dining are all wide open too. This is bedroom number two. 
walkout access through those sliders. And a, another Panasonic unit. Um, full bath, again, tub shower combo. Really pretty down here. You do have laundry as well. Here is your washer and dryer. The grinder pump is back there. So this is kind of a slash utility closet. You have a, a sub panel over here too. Um, so you have your little utilities there with the washer dryer, dehumidifier. Uh, basement actually smells, smells dry. A lot of them don't up here. I would continue to run a dehumidifier on a, you know, a constant uh, uh, drip so the dehumidifier drains out. You can't just rely on the buckets if you're not going to be up here full time because they do fill up quickly, especially with some rainy weather that we've had recently. This is bedroom number bedroom number three, or I'm sorry, this is bedroom number four. Did we go in bedroom number three? I don't know. Let's go back anyway. So this is uh, this is bedroom number three. So all good sizes, you could fit beds of all sizes into these two, depending on what kind of configuration you want. Just peeking back in here, these are two twins, but you can open them up. Uh, ceilings are probably eight feet tall, so you could put bunk beds in if you needed. Um, four bedrooms plus the loft does make it pretty easy though to fit groups of all sizes. So that's the lower level. It's not huge. It's about 1,800 square feet, I believe. I can get you more exact measurements, but um, let me know what other questions you have on this. The good thing about it not being huge is it's not a ton to heat and to clean and to pay taxes on. So um, we're already saving money there. All right. Check the link for the description. Go to connectwithwill.com to get in touch with me. Um, any other social media platforms or call, text, email, uh, carrier pigeon, whatever's easiest for you to get in touch with me, I will try to make myself available. All right, guys, enjoy the rest of your day.